So you jailbroke your iPhone or your iPad and you don't know what to do. Don't worry, we have you covered. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and these are the first five things you should do immediately after jailbreaking. When you first get your iPhone or iPad jailbroken, you need to acquaint yourself with Cydia. It's where you're going to spend most of your time applying modifications and looking for new mods. Yesterday, our fearless leader, Brandon Miniman, showed us one of the coolest mods out there. It's called Accelerate, and it's the first one you should download after you jailbreak. It's free in Cydia, and it does exactly what it says. It accelerates your iOS experience. Normally, backing out of applications and switching between them, you see animations that slow everything down. Accelerate can disable those, and you can choose different speeds at which those animations occur. You can choose between warp speed and grass growing, and there is a major difference. I've been using warp speed, and it is blazing fast, but it may be too fast for some of you. However, if you don't like the animations and warp speed is too fast, you can manually turn off the animations within Accelerate. The second application you should get from Cydia is called SB Settings. It fixes one of the biggest problems of iOS, the fact that there is no quick settings option in iOS at all. It allows you to add these settings and toggle switches to the notification center. You can also apply them as widgets if you use other modifications, and there is a drop-down menu that can be accessed as well. These toggles include Wi-Fi, GPS, data, screen brightness, and many more. The third application you should download from Cydia is called Activator. It may already be on your device and you not know it. Some other applications from Cydia require it. I have Activator set up to allow me to swipe up from the bottom of the display to access Siri from the lock screen. And one thing it does particularly well is show off how well two applications from Cydia can work together to accomplish some pretty amazing tasks. For instance, I have a triple press of the home button set up to launch SB settings in the drop down menu that I showed you a minute ago. But what Activator does at the root of it is allow you to launch different things using gestures from swipes, button presses, different taps on the screen, and even multi finger touches to launch shortcuts, applications, and settings. The fourth application you should get from Cydia is quite easily my favorite in all of Cydia. It is called Browser Changer, and it does exactly as the title suggests. It changes the default browser. By default, in iOS, if you click a link or try to share something with the browser, it opens directly to Safari, and you have no way to change the default. Using Browser Changer, you can choose from any of the third-party offerings in the App Store and open links directly to those without having to go to Safari first. So if you use Chrome or Dolphin and you click a link and you have Browser Changer installed, you can open directly to those. Browser Changer also allows you to change the default Maps application from the iOS 6 Maps app to Google Maps. You can't choose from any third-party Maps application, but you can open links directly to Google Maps. Lastly, you should download Winterboard. From within Cydia, you can download hundreds and hundreds of themes, icon packages, and various other things to change the interface. From within Cydia, find some themes you like, open them in Winterboard, check them, and hit Respring. Three clicks of the heels, and you will have a totally new interface that you can toy around with and make look quite snazzy. However, with these themes, there are some quirks, and they don't always look as intended. But these modifications are only the beginning of Cydia. It's only scratching the surface. From within Cydia, you can find all sorts of different mods and tweaks, widgets. You can also change the way the task switcher looks. You can add quick settings to that same panel and many, many more mods. And at the end of the day, if you found that jailbreaking and modding is not for you, you're only a few steps away from unjailbreaking and setting everything back to normal. As always, be sure to like the video if you found it helpful, subscribe to the channel, and follow us on all of your social networks of choice. I'm Taylor Martin, and I will see you next time. Smartphones, tablets, wireless technology. If that's the kind of stuff that gets your flag waving, Pocket Now has you covered. We've filmed over 2,500 videos, from in-depth reviews of the newest devices, to special features like After the Buzz, to news and entertainment like the Pocket Now Daily Broadcast, and the Pocket Now Weekly podcast. And we're adding more every day. We've been around for over a decade, but the adventure is just beginning. Join us for the journey. Subscribe to Pocket Now.